In today's video, we're going to show you how to overlay your lyrics on top of your worship live stream. That and more coming up. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Edwin from Church Creatives, and today we're going to go ahead and show you how to set up uh, lower thirds for OBS. Um, through media shout through their stage display so you don't need a second um, display or second PC running the stage display um, I did this for vmix and I had a request to do it for OBS um, processes about the same um, but a little bit different through the menus so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how um, right now so let's go ahead and get into it um, also I just want to say thank you everyone for um, subscribing down below and if you're not already subscribed subscribe for some more videos and hit that like button would be greatly appreciated anyways more uh, after the self promotion let's go ahead and get into it um, here so this is one of the songs that I have in one of our service uh, services that we did last week um, your grace enough pretty common worship song um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, create this to the stage display. Um, so this is what you're going to be displaying up front on your screen projector or something like that. But we actually have this stage display and not a lot of people use it or they use it on a back TV, but we're going to take advantage of it to format it for our lower thirds. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to want to click the sync all pages to stage. And what this is going to do is this is going to create um, all of them on here. And it's going to have the same formatting. So what we're going to want to do is um, a, we can change the effects so we don't have like a text background um, or maybe you want or that was actually an object outline of the text box but this text box background we could go ahead and change this um, so I'm gonna change it to a um, different color because right in OBS I have a an example for a camera and it's blue um, but do something that um, is good for you if you have uh, maybe an orange or a yellower room do something maybe the opposite of that maybe go with orange or do an orange color or something like that we're gonna go ahead and select orange because mine's blue and I kind of like a little bit of contrast that doesn't look that great um, let's see if I can get something we already have blue um, here this this navy or not navy this rich like wine color maybe ish um kind of looks good so let's go up oh, gotta hit apply so let's go ahead and uncheck that again let's get that navy color and apply there we go so now we have a text box um and what you're going to want to make sure is that it stays within this um, formatting or it's not gonna be the same or we need to go back to this one or it's not gonna um, actually work once you apply it all so let's apply it all and hopefully this works so okay yep now fit good and for the title slide for our lyrics um, I don't usually do it uh, that looks pretty good there and we can implement that into our stream um, this for some reason doesn't want to work, so we're going to have to format it differently. Probably, I believe I added it as just a text box. That's most likely why. Um, what I would do is I would actually just copy in this and paste this here, but I'm actually going to delete this because we don't need this slide actually. Um, it was a mistake that I did, but we fixed it later, so... Um, yeah, that's just a mistake on my end. You shouldn't have that issue. Um, so yeah, make sure you right click and then apply formatting to all pages. This will help this. And then it should not, if you switch back over to main, it won't affect the main. Um, so if we just fire this here, we can see main and stage display. But if you see these both being the same, what you're going to want to do is this, this mirror main, you're going to want to click this off. And that's why um, that is going to turn black for the stage display because we don't have anything on the, for the stage display for the title slide. If we go to the verse one, you see like the text right here. 
So this will be acting on your stage display. Now, um, this is this is for people that already know how to set up a stage display, but basically you're going to be having um, two outs of your graphics card to different things. And so maybe this goes to your back screen, so your worship leader and people can see it, or your pastor or something like that. Or maybe this just goes to the live stream, but you will have to have a powerful enough computer to run it. Um, but um, that's kind of, hopefully you already know that. So, while we have this, then this is going to be, uh, uh, so you can put it up full screen right here. It's exporting. I actually need to change my display settings real quick for my stage. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and add this. I'm going to make sure that my stage is toggled and my main. Um, and then we're going to go ahead, go into OBS here. This is what I already showed you how to set up in one of my other videos. I'll go ahead and link it now. Um, so there's camera two without graphics and the lyrics. I have this in this right hand corner. Um, so that was if you were getting like the main screen feed, which we can go ahead and actually change that here. Um, it's actually on my other monitor. So this is what it would normally look like, but we're going to go ahead and do it with a lyric overlay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and copy this. Just duplicate here, camera one. Um, oh, if I can spell lyric overlay, lyric overlay. Um, so then we uh, have a different scene. What you're going to want to do is click, uh, right click, and then add, or go down here and click this plus button. Then click display capture, or any other way that you're getting it into here. I do recommend using like NDI. So this NDI, it's a plugin for OPS, and um, you can capture NDI from your media computer and then send it to your um, live streaming computer um, over the network. It's really cool, um, but right now we're just going to use display capture. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and we can just name it um, oh, Lyric Overlay. Oh, that our name's already in use. Lyric lower third overlay. So you see, you can see your own screen here. You're gonna to want to make sure you select the right display. I have three displays, um, so that's why I see all these. But you're gonna to want to either select um, the one that you have the stage display on. And I recommend if you're gonna do a, uh, a display capture with this, if you're using the same computer, you do uh, do not select ca uh, capture cursor, or you'll be able to see the cursor of someone decides to move it over there so um, then click OK now you see that it's covering the whole screen you can't see your camera behind it um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight it here so you're gonna see the red right click it on here or you can go down here and right click it click filters this will bring up a window um, effect filters you're gonna want to click the plus button and then go up here until you see chroma key Click OK, and then we're going to want to click custom color for color or key color type. <clears throat> then we're going to click black. And that did not do that. So what we're going to want to do is back this similarity off. And hopefully this will work. There we go. I did the wrong key. It's going to be the color key. Sorry, not the chroma key. So let's go ahead and remove that here. So it's going to be the color key. My bad here. Um, so now it's, you can see the thing behind it. You can adjust these if you need to. Like that just removed the background, which normally you would want to remove the background separately, but you can do that if you want to. I see a little bit of black around the edges. So if you just put it up just a little bit. Do that smoothness, that's how smooth it is. Um, but that looks pretty good for my liking. Um, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and resize it. So just move this here. 
Um, and you can keep it pretty full screen like that, or if you just want to move it side to side, you can do that, but then you only have like a little bit. I like showing a lot of the camera, and um, I wouldn't make it too small, but I wouldn't make it too big either. People are going to either watch on uh, televisions or their phone, so that's nor that's the, the kind of guideline that I stay by. Make sure it's good for phone and a TV. Um, so that's pretty good here. And um, for this, you're going to want to make sure you either go down to three, sp uh, three lines or two lines, anything above that, and I think it looks um, a little bit much, at least for me. Um, but you can do what you want, of course. So that looks pretty good for me. I like that how it is. Um, and if I go ahead and move this to the side here, I'm going to try to make it so you can see here. But if I go ahead and advance to the next slide, I'm just going to move this over just a little bit. If I advance to the next slide, you'll see that it updates. Um, here, I can click this button right here. It's updating on the main display and the stage display. Um, and that's how you're getting the overlay in. So I really like it. It's a really simple way to add it. You don't need to have a separate computer and operator running another Lyric thing. And it just for, um, has a good look to your stream. Um, and of course, you don't have to put a box behind it. I only do that because our streaming environment is really bright. So if you just have like white text, you can't really see it that well. Um, so generally you can put something behind it, but say you have a, um, a dark room or like you have a stage environment where it's pretty dark, you can just take this text box off altogether. Let's go ahead and apply. And then there we go. See, it's n nothing and you can make sure that it works with the three layers, but then you can move up. That's the camera. And you can just move this down so it's the bottom of your screen. And then just, you can click through. Here, let me go ahead and move this. Click through and then it's at the bottom of your screen. And you're getting, uh, oh, that's nothing. Um, but here, if I go back, you can see um, you have that and it's an overlay and it's really nice. So um, if you have any other questions, let me know. I know that this was requested by a viewer. Uh, so I hope you found this useful, and if you have any other questions, let us know down in the comments below. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, stay creative.